Courses in the Cement Industry Present to you To the friends of courses in the cement industry. I hope to subscribe to the membership, so that we can continue to provide useful content. In this course we will detailed explanation. Rotary Kill Lamella Seal Introduction about, Rotary Kill Seals The Rotary Kill is considering the heart of a cement plant. It consumes about 40% of the total energy. For thermal economy, it is necessary to prevent as effectively as possible, the infiltration of ambient air into the Rotary Kill at the feed, inlet, and at the discharge, outlet ends. The reason is that, any false air enters the Rotary Kill requires additional thermal, and electric energy for the same rotary kill output. In rotary kill, raw meal is fed through the smoke chamber from the inlet, and gets discharged as clinker into the cooler on the discharge end. We follow together introduction about, rotary kill seals. At both ends there are fixed hoods, where rotating rotary kill ends protrude into them. Such intrusions into fixed hoods leave small gaps, all around through which false air can take place. These gaps need to be closed by providing seals. Various designs of seals have been available for a long time, with varying degrees of success. Seals can be a simple design, or complicated as plate-to-plate -plate arrangement, powered by pneumatic cylinders with a bellows expansion joint. The most commonly used constructions of seals are 1. Lamella seal 2. Graphite block seals. 3. Face plate seals. 4. Outward leaves design. 5. Inverted leaves design. Rotary kill inlet lamella seal. The rotary kill inlet lamella seal prevents the ingress of false air into the space between the rotary kill tube and the smoke chamber. The rotary kill inlet lamella seal is superior to the traditional pneumatic seal, because of its modem rugged design and construction. Installation of the lamella seal, will achieve the following improvements. 1. Improves economy, due to reduced ingress of false air into the rotary kill. 2. Reduces back spillage, due to the built-in scooping device. 3. Reduces maintenance costs due to few moving parts. 4. Reduces the need for lubrication. 5. Ensures long service life, due to rugged well thought out design. Description for Rotary Kill Inlet Lamella Seal The lamella seal consists of the following item. 1. Inner lamella. 2. Heat resistant fabric. 3. Outer lamella. 4. Scooping system. 5. Annular manifold. 6. Scooping chamber. 7. Cooling air chamber. 8. Ceramic felt. We follow together, description for rotary kill inlet lamella seal. 
The inlet lamella seal consists of two sets of spring steel lamella, C.1 and 3, with a layer of heat resistant fabric, C.2, positioned between the two sets of lamella. The inner set of lamella, C.1, which support the fabric, are exposed to the intense heat of the rotary kill. Over a period of time, they may lose their original spring steel characteristics. Between the inner and outer lamella, a layer of heat resistant fabric, C.2, is positioned to protect the outer set of lamella, C.3, and enable them to maintain their resilience. This spring effect forces the inner lamella against the cooling mantle and provides a seal. We follow together description for rotary kill inlet lamella seal. To prevent overheating of the rotary kill shell and sealing parts, a separate fan delivers cooling air via an annular manifold, C.5, to the space between the rotary kill shell and the cooling mantle, and to the cooling air chamber, C.7. The scooping system, C.4, is a system of open scoops made of heat resistant steel. The scooping chamber, C.6, is a plate structure sheathed with a 25 mm layer of ceramic felt, C.8 for protection against thermal impact. If back spillage occurs, the scooping system collects the spillage in the bottom of the scooping chamber, and as the rotary kill rotates, lifts it and returns it to the rotary kill. In the smoke chamber the exit gases will suspend the spillage, and carry it up into the rotary kill riser duct. Some of the advantages, of rotary kill inlet lamella seals. 1. Extremely flexible sealing, between rotary kill and preheater. 2. Independent of rotary kill rotation. 3. Insulation incorporated to protect the lamella spring effect. 4. Scoop arrangement included. 5. Rapid and easy maintenance. 6. High rated, secure sealing effect. 7. Straightforward installation even on non-equipment. 8. 10,000 to 20,000 service hours for wear parts, dependent on the process conditions. See this video about, Rotary Kill Inlet Lamella Seal. Rotary Kill Outlet Lamella Seal The Rotary Kill Outlet Lamella Seal is used in rotary kills with great cooler, as a seal between the rotary kill and the rotary kill hood. Installation of the Lamella Seal, will achieve the following improvements. 1. Improves economy due to, less ingress of false air into the rotary kill. 2. Reduces maintenance costs due to, few moving parts. 3. Obviates the need for lubrication. 
4. Ensures long service life due to rugged well thought out design. Description for Rotary Kill Outlet Lamella Seal The Lamella Seal consists of the following items. 1. Kill Shell 2. Inner Lamella 3. Heat Resistant Fabric 4. Outer Lamella 5. Cooling Mantle 6. Dust Chamber with Chute 7. Rotary Kill Outlet Sectors 8. Cooling air manifold. 9. Spring plates. Description for Rotary Kill Outlet Lamella Seal. The outlet lamella seal consists of a non rotating cylindrical ring of steel plates, fitted around the rotary kill on the rotary kill hood. This cylindrical ring supports a number of special steel lamella, which slide on the circular cooling mantle surrounding the rotary kill outlet section. The lamella seal consists of two sets of spring lamella, C.2 and 4, and heat resistant fabric, C.3. The inner set of lamella, C.2, which support the fabric are exposed to the intense heat of the rotary kill, over a period of time they may lose their original spring steel characteristics. We follow together description for rotary kill outlet lamella seal. To protect the outer set of lamella, C.4, and enable them to maintain their resilience a layer of heat resistant fabric, C.3, is positioned between the two sets of steel lamella. The cooling mantle, C.5, is constructed from heat resistant plate and is positioned on the rotary kill shell, C.1, and fixed by a number of spring plates, C.9. To prevent overheating of the outlet sectors, C.7, and sealing parts, a separate fan supplies cooling air via a circular manifold, C.8, to the space between the rotary kill shell, C.1, and the cooling mantle, C.5. In the dust chamber, C.6, the escaping dust is collected, and is then returned directly to the cooler via a chute. Some of the advantages of rotary kill outlet lamella seals. 1. Extremely flexible sealing, between rotary kill and cooler. 2. Independent of rotary kill rotation. 3. Insulation incorporated to protect the lamella spring effect. 4. Material return arrangement to either first grade, or external drag chain. 5. Rapid and easy maintenance. 6. Straightforward installation even on non-equipment. 7. Dust retention curtain incorporated. 8. 7000 to 14000 service hours for the wear parts, dependent on the process conditions. See this video about Rotary Kill Outlet Lamella Seal. Thanks for following the channel, Courses in the Cement Industry. And please help us to continue and provide more information, by subscribe to the membership, and inviting your colleagues to watch this channel.